Temple Tough Behind the Scenes with Temple Football is brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University. Previously on Temple Tough, behind the scenes with Temple football, the Temple Owls responded to its first loss against Penn State with a victory over an ACC team for the first time in program history. It's a great moment for Temple and our players, and I want them to enjoy it. But you know what? We're home next week against Toledo. It's a conference game. They're not going to really care much what happened here today. Sporting a 3-1 record and following a win on the road against Maryland, the Owls are flying high, heading into the bulk of its MAC conference schedule. <laughs> Head coach Steve Adazio knows how you respond following a big win is just as vital as responding after a tough loss. As he teaches his players, the next win is always the most important. Keep it in mind. Up, right Keep it in mind. Day. Bottle that feeling. Following his near-perfect performance at Maryland, number seven, Chester Stewart will make his second consecutive start at quarterback against Mac West opponent Toledo. Though the Rockets will enter Lincoln Financial Field with a one and three record, they are projected to be one of the best teams in the conference. While the win over Maryland was big for the program, it's wins against Mac opponents that will get the Owls closer to their goal. It's game day. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Temple Football. Today, it's the Owls against the Rockets from Toledo. And while the Owls are wearing their traditional cherry, the Link is dressed in a different color. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and while fighting breast cancer is important to everyone, for the football team, this cause hits home. Last year, more than 200,000 women were diagnosed with breast cancer in the United States, and two Temple football players have mothers who have already beaten the disease. This day is about more than football, but for the Owls, their fight is on the field. Once again, they try to angle it toward the sideline. And Matt Brown, it hits him. He goes down to pick it up. There's a pile up. That's a costly mistake by the Owls on special team. Stewart back to throw, sets up over the middle, sails it, and it's incomplete. It picked off in the secondary, picked off by Toledo. After two fast turnovers, Toledo put the Owls in a position they haven't been in all season, trailing by two scores early in the ball game. He could go all the way. He's at the 10 to the 5 touchdown, Toledo. But Temple had a chance to respond and went to their go-to guy to get back in the game. Backed up in the eye, play action. Stewart to throw out of the backfield. It is caught by Rodriguez. First down and more. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Evan Rodriguez. Temple battled back to within 15-13, but this game would be decided by Temple's turnovers and Toledo's fast start in the second half. Pierce breaks a tackle. He's out at the 40-45. There he goes down the sidelines. Still inbounds at the 40 and inside the 35-yard line. They're going to say he fumbled the ball, and it's recovered by Toledo. Now they go to Flewellen, and he dives in for the touchdown. Final score today here at Lincoln Financial Field. Toledo 36 and Temple 13. 
I've always been told that you're supposed to leave games behind you. Maybe we took that game with us for the next week, and we, we, we shouldn't have did that. It was a big letdown that we lost to Toledo. I mean, we feel like we let the, not just our team down, but our city. We, we didn't do what we, we, we came out to do and what we wanted to do for the year. Losing a football game is not acceptable around here, and it never will be. We, did, we weren't as locked in as we needed to be. I felt that, uh, you know, as you hear me say a lot, uh, you can't turn the ball over. We turned it over four times. One game doesn't define anything. Just like last week, week one guy in the game didn't define it. Nor does this week. We got to line up. We got to get uh, have a great week of practice. Get on the road and get ready to go play Ball State on the road, um, and, uh, and take care of our business one week at a time. Angela believed that with a little help, she could make her flower store succeed, even in a tough economy. We never doubted her for a minute. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better, honest. Edgar's adjustable rate mortgage on the rise, he believed that finding the right lender could help him save extra money and provide for his family. We believed in Edgar. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better. Honest. In the Huddle is brought to you by My Philly Lawyer. And Roger Flex. On the orange, on the orange. Ready? One, two, three. Two, two. Two. No, no, we're going to huddle here. Fast field goal, fast field goal! Ace, Joe, ace, 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 ace. Shoot right, clamp five, shoot right, clamp five, shoot right, clamp five, guys. Deuce, 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 deuce. Evan, Erod, Erod, Rodriguez. E Rodriguez, you gotta go, get down there. Run, 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 run. You're still in, you're still in. You gotta go, we don't have anybody else. Evan, 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 you're out, you're out, you're out, come on. Yep, 86. Lusting, you return, 86 punch, on the color, on the color, ready? Foul Savage, you got the next rep of white, listen. We're not getting enough reps for you not to take two reps. You, know, you and Boo should be getting as many reps as possible. If I put you in, you're in for four reps unless I sub someone else, okay? Parth will go in while I put him in. You go in, you go in. You guys are rotating with each other. If you're hurt, then he goes in. You understand that? We're going in for four reps at a time. Come on, come on, go get him, go get him, let's see. No, no, nah, that's terrible, that's terrible, that's terrible, that's terrible. Look, here's your step, here's your step. You led with your hands and you stepped underneath yourself. You're too wide to run that play. Cheat in, cheat in, so you have some momentum. Come on, Wyatt, let's see what you, left wing, left wing, Wyatt. Get out! Wyatt, just flip her up through him to the next guy. Does that make sense? Yeah, zebra, flip her up through the three technique on the way to the next guy. The quarterback's not going to throw you the ball if you're not looking. Back up, back up. Has that been said to you the last couple of days? Yeah, clear the mic, look for the ball. As soon as you clear, it's a bang on you. Yes, sir. You have got to accelerate your feet. You took one, two. He's so low that you just stopped. He's so low that you tried to get down and you dipped. It's not going to work. You understand that? You have got to get on a railroad track and run your feet. It's one, two to let you get three, four, five. One, two to let you get three, four, five. It has to happen. Shoot it. Shoot it one time on me. Shoot it. Thank you. They have four. You got, I think. What kind of catch is that, Erod? We're making contact before we get our foot in the ground, right? I've got to go here, here, OK? Now, I'm old and fat and can't do it quite as well as you should. Get a little stagger. You don't have any stagger right now going right now. Here we go. 
Again, 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 again. Okay, Matt will be okay if you hit him a little bit. I know right now you're kind of like punching on air. You can punch him. He'll be okay. Matt, you'll be okay? Okay, no. See, that's, that step's got to go. That step can't lunge. That step's got to go, uh, I've got a 10 stake that step, so my next step I can do what? Drive. Make sense? It's called take up, take up the slack. Just take up the slack, right? So that you're not in the way of the what? In the way of the pitch. That's it. Now you understand. That's it. That, when, you, when I see something like that, it makes me say this guy wants to play. You understand? Yeah. yeah I don't care if he, if he took a bad rep or not. That has nothing to do with it. You finish that block. You got your hat inside. You came off the football. Every play. Every play. In the Huddle has been brought to you by My Philly Lawyer. The success of a college football team usually relates to the leadership of its seniors. Much of Temple's early season success on offense can be attributed to senior tight end, number 88, Evan Rodriguez. Play action appears. They throw it to Rodriguez. He's open. Got a block at the 40 of Maryland. There he goes. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And he's out of bounds at the five-yard line. It isn't often a tight end leads the team in catches, yards, and touchdowns. But it also isn't often you have a tight end as good as Rodriguez. Erod was named to the preseason John Mackey Award watch list, which honors college football's most outstanding tight end, and was named the National College Football Tight End of the Week following his five-catch, 96-yard performance against Maryland. It's, it's, it's good recognition, but you know, to me, it really doesn't mean anything if my team doesn't come out here and win every game, because we have one goal, and that goal is to win a championship. All of that is outstanding, and, and tight ends get a lot of recognition and awards based upon how many times they catch the football, uh, how many you know plays they make. The thing about Evan, he's really versatile. He can be, he's kind of lines up as a wide receiver, as a fullback, as an on the line tight end. He gives you a lot of, you know, you know, uh, versatility in your offense. At an athletic six foot three and 250 pounds, Rodriguez's versatility has proven very difficult for opposing defenses to stop, particularly as a play action target. My skill set, uh, I'm a mismatch for people. Put me on a linebacker, I'm going to use my speed against them. Put me on a safety, I'm going to run them over. Like, so, you just <laughs> make, make sure match. After he catches the football, that's all him. I mean, that's all, you know, what God gave him and his ability and his vision. And really, to be honest with you, his relentless, you know, if he's relentless and you want to score and you refuse to be tackled, you're going to make big plays down the field. A tight end in Temple's offense has many responsibilities. He has to run routes, catch passes, run block, and pass protect. Rodriguez's position coach, Matt Rule, is there to remind him that each part of his game is just as important as the last. Much better, much better, much better, much better. Adrian trying to clean me. Yeah. Come around. If you, if you see that, you can go around him. Make sense? I couldn't because he was, he was upfield. Was he upfield? That's, yeah, he was that's fine. Then, then you're not going to get the ball. Now slip through and go make a big block. I think you had to do a little bit every day and just keep it consistent so you build a bank up you know, over the course of the spring football, then in the summer, then into, into fall camp. I think, you know, you just keep doing the same things over and over again because he has so many different skills that he has to do. Coach Rule is full of juice. He got the juice. Like, every day he, he brings the intensity to the group, makes sure we're all ready to go. And he coaches us hard. You know, we all tell him to coach us hard because we don't want to be relaxed. So we rather him coach us hard during the week. So when the game comes, we, we already know what's coming for us. So we've seen it before. Go, 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 get out there. Energy, juice. But I've really enjoyed coaching him because he, he asks me to coach him hard. He lets me coach him really hard. I don't have to worry about how I say something to him or, you know, if I make him do something two, three, four, five, six times, what, how he's going to respond. He really just kind of wants to be good. And that's the, that's the, when you have talent, that's the number one thing to become a great player. So if I want to be good and I'll let myself get coached, I'll usually end up being a pretty good player. The Temple Tough Trivia Question is brought to you by Kelly Sports. Hi, I'm Pat Boyle, offensive lineman for the Owls, and this is the Trivia Question of the Week. How many Temple Owls are currently on active NFL rosters? When you combine a whole new look with over 40 years of experience, what do you get? 
Glansman Subaru in Jenkintown. Now that we're totally remodeled, we're going even further to exceed your expectations. And with our no pressure sales staff, free loaner cars, and extended service hours, every trip to Glansman Subaru is made easy and convenient. So no matter what time the game is over, check us out at GetSubaru.com. Buy smart, drive safe at Glansman Subaru, Route 611, Jenkintown. I love this town. I was born two blocks from here. I was raised here, and I went to school here. When I became a lawyer over 20 years ago, there was no doubt where I'd practice. I wanted to make a difference here. That's why I started My Philly Lawyer. I'm Dean Weitzman. If you're ever injured in an accident, I'll stand by you, I'll fight for you, and I'll get you the compensation you deserve. Go to MyPhillyLawyer.com or call us at 215-227-2727 when winning matters most. What's better than a pre-owned Toyota? A certified pre-owned Toyota. And at Team Toyota, you won't have any trouble spotting the difference. Browse our inventory of over 200 certified vehicles. Get financing as low as 2.9% for 60 months, a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty, our three-day, 300-mile money-back guarantee, two years of complimentary maintenance, and more. At Team Toyota, you'll never get used, but you will get a great this certified pre-owned. Stop in today and you'll be singing. Team Toyota, I'm part of the team. And the answer is, six owls are currently on NFL rosters. The Temple Tough Trivia Question has been brought to you by Kelly Sports. Whenever a football team suffers a loss, there are changes to be made the following week. While an aesthetic change is being made inside the Edberg Olsen football complex, changes are being made outside on the practice field. It's four days until Temple travels to Ball State to take on the Cardinals. And after a week where the Owls committed four turnovers, ball security is on the mind. Turnovers can be the ultimate equalizer. For the skill players on the team, this week is all about high and tight. Ball security is a huge, huge factor in, in what we do here at Temple. Uh, every day we emphasize a ball security drill. Uh, we use a lot of different techniques and we use the high and tight premise where we want to keep it high over our chest uh, at four points of contact at all times. And we just want to go out and focus on that. Every time they run the ball, they want to be conscious of keeping that ball high and tight. High point security, make sure the um, ball's high and tight. This, this basically, even if we this on the sideline, someone might try to rip the ball out. Just so, just make sure at all times you have, you have control of the ball. To force them to cut and react in different situations while you're trying to knock the ball out. Um, trying to maintain, you know, teach the players to maintain and body rep having the ball held properly, which leads to a lot of fumbles. Um, but at the same time, I think at the end of the day, a, a player has to, you know, you can teach all the fundamentals you want, but a player has to make a decision that he's not going to let go of this football. We partner up. One guy comes behind, tries to strip it from us. We got to hold it as tight as possible for about 10 yards. So we never know who's coming from behind, so we always got to have the ball secure. We always coach ball security, but trying to teach off the situations and show guys, hey, this is what beat you. This didn't beat you. That didn't beat you. This beat you. Um, you know, that, that it kind of becomes more ingrained in what they're doing. The team has arrived in Muncie, Indiana for the first time in school history. The Owls and the Cardinals have only played each other one other time, a 24-19 Temple win in Philadelphia in 2009. Schumann Stadium is uncharted territory for Temple. This October day in Indiana doesn't feel like an October day in Philadelphia. Game time temperatures exceeded more than 90 degrees on the surface of the field. Fall football is usually about finding ways to keep warm, but it was up to the staff to find ways to keep the team cool. In your heart, 
You gotta make sure you're ready to leave it all on the field today. You gotta make sure it doesn't matter if it's 100 degrees, it doesn't matter what the score is, all that matters is when Temple walks off that field, we're gonna walk off a winner today. The people on the sideline, you need to bring energy to this team. The leaders on this team, you need to bring energy to this team. We're gonna play the way Temple set the play. Temple tough, Philly proud. That's what it means. Straight back, here comes the rush. He steps up, dumps it off. Joe Jones at the 15-10-5 touchdown. Temple. Joe Jones goes 24 yards. Play action fake. Stewart's going to throw long down the right sidelines. And Streeter, is he inbounds? Yes. Pierce bounces outside, and he's got the touchdown on the two-yard run. This game proved historic for Temple for more than one reason. Not only was it the first time the Owls traveled to Ball State, it was a game that running back number 30, Bernard Pierce, is not likely to forget. With this four-yard score, Pierce entered Temple's record books for most career rushing touchdowns, passing legendary Al Paul Palmer, who has held the record since 1986. Winning in the gun, takes the snap, steps back, here comes the rush from Johnson, they got a sack. You're in two man. You can't run the vertical route. The route doesn't even start to win. He breaks in route. That's when you gotta go, man. You're already under cut position. He now goes, you gotta run, because he's gonna run to separate just like happened. Third and six, and here's the ball stripped out of the quarterback's hands. The outs have recovered. Stewart. And he gives to Brown, and this time they stack. Oh, he breaks free! He's at the 30, one man to beat at the 20, 10, 5! Matt Brown is shoved out of bounds. Once again, everybody lost him. Here's the uh, toss behind Benson, goes Brown to the 5, and Matt Brown is in for the touchdown from 7 yards out, untouched. We can't let up. We're a team that has to have an edge. We have to have an edge. That's who we are, and that's okay. But collectively with the seniors and the leaders, we've got to understand who we are, how we have to practice, and how we have to play. Now starting our BW of Langhorn, the all-new 2012 Passat. Be the first to test drive the all-new mid-size 2012 Passat at BW of Langhorn. The most class in its class with dual-zone auto climate control and Bluetooth standard. The power of German engineering and up to 43 miles to the gallon. BW of Langhorn on Business Route 1. Go a few extra yards and save a lot. Let's go Temple Isles football fans to McFadden's Ballpark before, during, and after every Temple Isles football home game. Catch every pass, run, and hit on any one of McFadden's 33 high-definition TVs and two giant projectors. It's the best place to cheer the Owls on this football season, and they're located right across from Lincoln Financial Field. Book your next private Temple Owls football party today at McFadden'sBallpark.com. Take an Owls outing with Temple Owls football at McFadden's Ballpark, your Temple Tough destination. Run, don't walk to Kelly Sports for your back-to-school needs. Opening day is about to kick off, and our selection is a big hit. Our prices are too good to pass up, so get to Kelly Sports and score big. We have all the latest styles from Nike, Adidas, and Under Armour, and we also carry Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts uniforms, as well as a large selection of athletic footwear. Kelly Sports, located at Route 202 and Matlack Street in Westchester. Here's Stewart to Pierce. Pierce straight up the gut toward the goal line. Bernard Pierce, yes, he's in. Bernard Pierce is in for his second touchdown, and now he is the all-time leader in Temple University history for rushing touchdowns. Temple's 42 to nothing victory over Ball State was just the first step in getting their edge back. An edge the team felt they let slip away against Toledo. It's what we talk about, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's that 10th and diamond tough mindset, tough style of play, hungry, you know, looking for respect. Every day and every practice is an opportunity to get that edge. Uh, and, and that is just, you know, going out every day trying to prove something. If you feel like you have nothing to prove, then you don't have that edge anymore. And so that's what we talk about. The edge is to always play Temple Tough uh, football, whether that's knocking guys off the ball, running to the ball on defense. We want to get back to what helped us be successful early in the season. 
and that's swarming the ball on defense. That's blocking the point of attack on offense, and that's running the ball physically. You're always on edge. You're always on edge. You're always looking over. You're always looking over your shoulder. You're always looking straight ahead. You take nothing for granted. You know, that's the way you got to play this game. You can't. You can't be too comfortable playing this game. The next step is to hold on to that edge when they come home to play Buffalo in Temple's annual homecoming game. Homecoming is a chance for Temple's 130,000 alumni living in the area to return to Broad Street to see family, old friends, and a football team that's come a long way since they wore cherry and white. A win at home would help reassert Temple's position amongst the contenders for the conference championship. Jared's family didn't have much money, but he believed with smart savings and the right plan, he could go to college. We helped him pass with flying colors. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, online at betterthanmybank.com. I love this town. I was born two blocks from here. I was raised here, and I went to school here. When I became a lawyer over 20 years ago, there was no doubt where I'd practice. I wanted to make a difference here. That's why I started My Philly Lawyer. I'm Dean Weitzman. If you're ever injured in an accident, I'll stand by you, I'll fight for you, and I'll get you the compensation you deserve. Go to MyPhillyLawyer.com or call us at 215-227-2727 when winning matters most. Get it louder. Coming closer. Footsteps don't lie. So the question is, do you hear footsteps? Or are they hearing yours? Credit card debt could have gotten the best of Michael and Maria, but they believed they could pick themselves up and get back on track. So did we. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. Online at betterthanmybank.com. Temple Tough, behind the scenes with Temple Football, has been brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University. On the next episode of Temple Tough, behind the scenes with Temple Football, it's a celebration of all things cherry and white. Temple Homecoming. A full week of events capped off by a football game against Mac Foe, Buffalo. Yeah!